Today we may have a peek behind the curtain of the new update inside of Diablo Immortal that's coming in April this month. And what we're looking at here are the patch notes from the Chinese version of the game, which we've seen in the past. Many things from these patch notes are very similar to what we see over here in the eastern side of things, in the northeast. So I'm gonna go through this today and try and pull out some clues. We have a lot of translation and we have to look at some calendars that could be teasing the new class that we've been talking about a lot here on the channel. Let's read through this. This is a letter from Mr. Lee, Diablo Moral classic IP linkage in April revealed for the first time. Unknown evil invades and visitors from another world are coming. In the spring version of Undertide Breakout, the sanctuary has just experienced the destruction of the King of Fear's army will face a new crisis in the blink of an eye. Fear is spreading wantonly and at a critical moment, a mysterious letter brings the last hope. The person who wrote the letter not only knows the evil forces well, but also invites adventurers to jointly guard the peace of the two worlds. We don't, uh, who did the mysterious letter come from? What challenges the sanctuary face? And what is the meaning of the two worlds in the letter? Nothing is known yet. So we are gonna dive into this letter and take a look at it. And we're talking about a new character. And the main question here is, is the new character the new class that's coming to sanctuary from another realm? Or is it just a character that's part of the lore and the story of Diablo Immortal? A letter from another world foretelling a crisis. A mysterious letter, mysterious letter was signed by Daxia Lee, broke the short-term peace of the sanctuary. The letter bluntly states that more and more evil atmosphere is pouring into the world and unprecedented powerful enemies will bring new challenges. The crisis is different from the past. Players will face evil forces of the two worlds. Hero Lee from another world urgently, urgently needs the help of righteous people to jointly for fight against the rising darkness, defeat the evil forces, conspiracy, and protect the two worlds and the peace of the world. Now we do have this right now in English kind of broken down so we can see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna read through this now. We're gonna try and pick apart this letter. Adventurers in Sanctuary, it's the letter of help. After experiencing the indescribable vision, I came from Shushan, to this world called Sanctuary. At this moment, I'm writing to you with excitement and uneasiness, eager to get your help. I believe you've also noticed the turmoil and unrest in Sanctuary in recent days. More and more evil atmosphere is pouring into this world, including my lifelong enemy, Lord Moon Worshipping. Hmm. Again, remember, everything that's translated is translated from Chinese, so sometimes things translate kind of weird. That's the first time that we're seeing that right there, Lord Moon Worshipping. The last moment I can still recall was in the Demon Locking Tower when we were fighting with all our strength. When Lord Moon Worshipping tried to awaken the water monster, he seemed to be summoned by some kind of power and accidentally opened the time and space seal. Time and space seal. They spoke of two worlds in those patch notes. Things are coming together a little bit here. When I woke up, I was already in your sanctuary, but the leader of the moon worshiping cult and his minions were nowhere to be found. At this moment, I can feel the similar, the familiar and dangerous atmosphere gradually approaching. I have seen their power and evil, and it is even worse than they, when after they joined forces with the devil. Is that Diablo? I have to ask you, the brave and resourceful adventurer, for help to fight against the rising e evil. Darkness, recast the seal of time and space to protect the peace of the two worlds. April 24th, awaiting for adventurers to help me. That is literally 12 days from today and it's signed by Mr. Lee. And again, is Mr. Lee potentially the new class coming to the game? We'll have to see as time goes on. Now, we do have this as well, which is quite interesting. Clearly, we can't read this. This is the calendar that we received as well in our patch notes. But this calendar is quite different. Take a look right here. This is when the new class is supposed to be coming, which really I don't, we're, we're there and beyond. These are the next coming months, which we'll look at this in English in a moment, but notice there are one, two, three, four, five elements on this flag of the calendar. On ours, there were only four. So let's read, and then we're gonna take a look at what we have written over in English. Shushan, moon, worshiping cult leader, demon, locking tower, water monster. All things that we haven't heard before. Looking at the familiar names mentioned in the letter, I believe that the dusty memories of many players have been awakened. Coupled with the fact that the letter is signed 
Daz, Doxia Lee, people can't help but think about it. Combined with the 2024 full year plan, plan announced by Diablo Immortal in March, it's also mentioned the classic IP linkage when will be launched in April and the answer seems to be ready. Now, will be launched in April. Does this mean the new class in April or does this mean the new storyline that we're speaking of? Now, if that hero Lee is part of the storyline, that would mean and if and if it's a if it's a champion, if it's a new hero that we could play as, a new class, then that would be available in April. But we're already almost halfway through that month. I'm not sure that this is actually going to come in in April. Before we get to the English version of this, one wave after another, a new threat is about to strike. The Undertide breakout in the spring version of Diablo Immortal is not over yet, and the demonic army spreading fear is still rampant. Now a powerful evil force that has never been seen before is coming again. Under the leadership of the Knights from another world, can the players solve the crisis and defend the Sanctuary? Now also, we have that new cosmetic that just came out, which is Knight-esque. I wonder if that's going to have something to do with the new class itself. I guess, again, we'll have to see. So we're back over here to the letter, but I have more than just the letter because we also have our calendar. Now, if we go back and forth between their calendar, which is right here, we have the one, two, three, four, five elements right there. And then we come over to ours. We only have four. April to June, new Paragon system, new equipment system, new Heliquary bosses, and new game modes. Let's keep that all fresh in our minds right now. New class was right here, end of March to April. Maybe it means May. It doesn't really, I don't know if this is graphically sound. I don't know if this is to scale, I guess you could say. But let's actually take a look at this center April to June section. And let's do that in English. April to June, classic IP lineage. That's what we're talking about here in these patch notes. New peak level. That could mean two things. New peak level could mean a new stage in the game, or new peak level could mean level bumps for our for our characters. Does that mean gear levels are going to be heightened? Is 30 no longer going to be the max? Is it just mean that we're going to have our secondary gear getting another bump, which has been a regular thing? Or is it a new zone, a new part of the story, new peak level? new devil which is a new enemy and we did hear that diablo was going to be returning as well wondering if this new devil is diablo or if the new devil is a whole new character maybe that water monster or something new game mode which we've seen that before and new career events now if you take a look at the blue banner to the left it says new career new career is the new class See, let me just take you back here really quickly. New career is new class for us in English. Ours does not say anything about a new career system. New equipment system, new heliquary bosses, new paragon system. So we're getting our paragon system changed, our equipment system changed. And when we come on over here to the translated, new peak level could very well have to do with our gear. Because over here, it's talking about a new gear equipment system and new, it's new equipment system. It doesn't say gear, new equipment system. And here it says new peak level. So it seems that our equipment may be getting new peak levels inside of the game with this upcoming update, which means level 30 cap could go beyond. Maybe we'll get to level 35 or 40, which means better, stronger gear with a lot more of upgrading that has to be done. And that's probably for a lot of people that have reached that level and need somewhere to go beyond that. New IP linkage, new devil, new game mode, and new career events. I believe that if we're supposed to get a new class, why would they put out new career events if the new career or the new class hasn't yet launched? So could we see a new class in April? Potentially. But I have my doubts. I'm not 100% sure, just because we really haven't seen much about that as of yet. So this is all exciting stuff. I love jumping over to these patch notes and kind of seeing what is being uh, prematurely shared by the China versions of the patch notes that maybe in North America we're not supposed to know of just yet. It's a little veil, you know, a little peek behind the veil. So I want to thank Red October for bringing me all of this information this morning. Always a great dude, always a great person in the community as well. I appreciate you. I'll be linking Red's Twitter in the description 
of this video if you want to go follow him he's a lot of times posts this stuff on his twitter as well and as i was going and taking my kids to school today i came home nice spring day it's like 60 degrees outside and as i'm walking through the gardens as i have like rock gardens the weeds are starting to pop up through them so i dive in there before i come back in the house and start pulling out a bunch of weeds getting dirt all over my hands and although i have a lot of work to do outside i got i got like six acres of grass to mow i got weeds to pull i got a pool to open it's nice to get outside and to actually touch some grass and, and do some things behind out from behind all of this although i do absolutely love doing this as well so i want to remind you guys to take a few moments and enjoy the outside get yourself out of the grind take a few minutes outside and enjoy uh nature things like that i don't know i'm not a tree hugger or anything but i do appreciate uh some outside beauty i'm excited for the update can't wait to see what comes because as of yet as of right now nothing really big is dropped inside of the game besides stacking of of materials and uh, wild brawl dropped inside of the game today